You want to talk about coming up clutch in a big situation. First of all, Christian Javier. That Man, was huge. Was that a good thing to see? That was literally out of nowhere that he looks like Christian Javier. Yeah. One out in the first, he gives up the base hit that scores the run, and then that's it. And then well, basically that, shut that, up. And at the time, I'm thinking, okay, oh, here we go this again. is going to be four. Yeah. Like, he'll probably get to four runs, probably finish four innings, and he'll be done. Yeah. And then he goes on a strikeout binge. Yeah. Un 11. 11 strikeouts for Christian Javier. Which is the thing that's been notably missing is the no. swing and miss right. with Christian Javier. And it was there yesterday. He was back to looking like himself. 91 pitches in five innings. But when you're striking guys out, it's you're going to have a higher pitch count. pretty efficient for him, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. If I'm being honest, yeah. like, that's yeah. pretty good for him. Well, yeah. But 91 in five innings is less than 20 pitches in inning. That's just... That's actually pretty good, Javier. Well, stuff. when you're a strikeout pitcher, your 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 pitches are going to go up. But you know, you'd like to you'd like to have 91 pitches, 95 pitches in six innings. You know, I mean, it's 91 is a bit high. It's still a bit high. He's usually a hundred through five, uh, at least. It's usually actually a hundred through. Uh, he can get there actually before five, and then he doesn't have this number of strikeouts this year. Yeah. So that was pretty good. That was that was really good. That was really, um, that was really great to see. You know, because like I said, the strikeout per nine. Now he's had some here recently, but his strikeout per nine is is just it's not what it has been here in the past. He doesn't have the same. <clears throat> he didn't have the same. You know, vertical drop uh, to some of his pitches. He just there's just not as much bite on his on his throws. There's not as much movement on the fastball. And, Yesterday was really nice to see. And that's yep. against, boy, you, you were av trying to avoid. You lose yesterday, you're out of the playoffs. Yeah. Well, you with, with with nine games to go, yeah. No, but you but still, yeah. you would have gone from cruising into the playoffs to out of the playoffs yeah. if you had lost yesterday. Well, then you got. That's how tenuous it just got. Well, you got the day off today, and then you, uh, and then you start a three-game series at home against the Royals. And. I, any listen, I know it's been, anything less than a sweep for the, over the Royals is just unacceptable. If, truth be told, anything less than a sweep of the Royals is unacceptable. So behavior. you just so it's not it's about not so it's not about not getting swept this time. This time it's about you must sweep you because last time you had to avoid being swept at home. Yes, this, this time, time it's about sweeping on the road. You must. I agree with you. Yes, you're on the road. This is where you're the road warriors. Yes, go ahead and sweep them. Sweep them. This is, no, you're here. You're here. Oh, no, 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 yeah, I'm mixing up. No, I'm you need to the, uh... sweep them here just to have, just to finish the season three games over 500 at home. <laughs> I mean, this is, that's just, what that's just to finish three games over 500 at home. So this is a must, yes, you, you need you're to sweep them. them. So today, oh, all God. three teams... Have the day off. You're not going to sweep them. You are. They are still one game behind you. Seattle and um and and Texas. They're still one game. They've played one fewer game than you. They make up that game next Thursday against each other. So it, one of those it's people, the saving grace for you. One of those humans will lose <clears throat> in in that in that game. So that's that is the saving grace. Seven games between those two. You have three against. Uh, Seattle, and you have three against Arizona after these three against Kansas City. Nine games to go. Nine? It was, that was, I'm sorry, did you just say nine games? Nine games to go. Nine. No. I saw what you did there. Nine! Me going to Berlin, you yeah. say nine. That was no. pretty clever. No, no. Boy, don't. No, that's Del, a number. Never say John's not clever with his wording. That's, never say he's just a number. basic or. It's just stupid. Oh. I thought so, you were saying nine. Nine! Selfless.com. Biggest win of the season? <laughs> no. Yes. We had, that would be like our 14th biggest win of the season. Today, it was the biggest game no. of the season. Yes. No. You, you not, lose it, like you said, with nine no, games to go, I mean, you're out of the playoffs. I just don't want to say biggest win of the season. Yes, I don't, no, biggest win of the I don't season. want to play that game. We can't, we can't have this many biggest wins of the no, Lance, season. Lance, as you go along, they get bigger and bigger. When you're in the postseason, guess what? Then they shouldn't be. Then, then, those, then we shouldn't. Guess what? Those wins are we bigger. We shouldn't designate those. If we know it's not going to stay biggest, like we can't make a biggest game well, of the season right. in July. If you don't lose. Four out of six to the this, A's and the Royals. The the last one counts. would have been the biggest. This counts. The other ones we should have never even said, like in in July.
Hawaii no, or no, something. Those were big wins, big wins. So, so not only yeah, that. That's unfortunate. So you know, you know, we're getting uh, close to the playoffs. We're getting into the huge. These games matter most because Jeremy Pena is coming through. Mm-hmm. That's when Jeremy Pena. Sh- Did you see the look he gave to the dugout after he got the hit? Yeah, he was like, I no. That's why, for me, he's, he was, he's been my X factor the entire season when he was playing poorly because I feel like I'm not worried about the other guys. They're established, but, man, when Pena gets it back, it's like it's a different yeah. – there's just a different now, – now, look, they were getting two hit for much of the game. They scored two runs, and you needed Dubon to get a hit <clears throat> also. But Jeremy Pena – so it's not like you killed it offensively. Yeah. But Jeremy Pena – Killed it offensively. It's, it's prime t- <laughs> No, they didn't do anything. Primetime Pena is just, he is a thing. You don't win ALCS and World Series MVP without having some stones. And he's got them. And he's showing, and this isn't just recently. This has been a stretch over the last 35, 36 games. It's his second, you know, it's, he's, this has been a run for him over the second half. He's hitting over 300. You know, it wasn't, his OPS is in the 800s. It wasn't that, you know, big a game. You just, lost two more after you lost two out of three to the Royals, after you lost two out of three to the A's, you'd lost the first two to the Orioles. Wasn't so it's time for for Jordan to take a rest. You know, you got a day off today, but sure is a good time to get, get I, Jordan a rest. We don't know that he was. Now, he did pinch it and get a walk. Yeah. But we don't know that Jordan maybe wasn't dealing with oblique, we don't, a hand, mm, a hand, mm, a no, knee. No, see, he knee. was... Yeah. He needed. He's had five he injuries. Needed, he needed, he a, needed those seven in plus whatever innings off until later we can get that walk. Knee, you, knee, he, hand, hand, hand listen, oblique. You think that he healed during that seven and a half innings, Del? That's your theory on this one? I mean, are we going to blame Dusty? How did it work out? Did Jordan get on base when he got in? I just don't understand when Dusty's going to think these games mean something. I just don't. Well, I don't know. We know this is was supposed You're to be the victory die. tour season after winning the World Series. <laughs> I'm gonna, victory tours don't. You don't mean anything during the victory oh, tour. You're just, just taking your congratulations. I just can't wait till these games are starting to get meaningful. The coin has spoken. It told him yesterday. <laughs> sit, sit your on in maybe the the biggest game heads, of the year. Let's not play is. him. So that's why when Pena came up, I was like, ah, he's batting second and Bregman's fourth. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of. I mean, I don't know. I I really wanted a Bregman up in the set in the two hole in that game because that's what's been happening a lot with Dusty's, Dusty's lineup. Dusty's going out swinging. But Pena in the two hole was the right right call. Jordan coming off the bench and getting that walk was huge. Pinch run to Dubon and then Dubon hitting for him. Wait a minute. So you're saying Dusty pushed everything all came, the right buttons. all the right buttons. I just want Yiner DHing. Being up in the ninth inning and getting the double. So it's official. We're going to call that ATRB. It's when Dusty goes all the right buttons. All the right well, buttons. Well, that's I, his nickname because that's all he does is push all the right buttons. You thought you thought Jordan not. Yeah. Could Jordan have had a hit in the game that was maybe a home run or whatever so he wouldn't have gotten <laughs> no. to this point? Maybe. But how did it work out? It Dubon, up, all the right buttons. If it, if the it coin worked out, has then spoken. He was- a heads. Yeah. Boom. I, Coin boys again. I, I got to back off saying you're right, John, because if the manager doesn't think the game's that important when he doesn't play Yordan, maybe the game's not that important. <laughs> it wasn't the biggest win because J- Dusty didn't think winning was that big of a deal. It's not that apparently. Might as well just sit sit one of the best hitters in the league. Oh, gosh. I was like, what is this lineup? What? Yordan's not playing when you just lost two games and you're – Teetering on the brink of not being in the playoffs, so well, you're gonna sit Jordan. 